All right, everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. I know it's been a minute. Uh, I've been awful busy, but I've been able to get out and shoot pretty much uh, every day this week. And uh, to do some more testing. Now, uh, if you've been following along, I showed you about cleaning barrels and uh, lubing pellets or lubing the barrel. But uh, I wanted to take in a different approach. Um, a thought occurred to me about using a a brush an actual brush so that's what I did and uh, let me show you how I did it um, as you see here in front of you I got my cleaning rod and a little brass rod with a brush on it and uh, my wool mop attached to the long rod and I used a just a piece of paper towel or a napkin and uh, I got a clip on how I did that, but the reason why I did that was because, like I told you guys, this gun had, had a choke in it. The like last three inches of the barrel itself uh, constricts down to 5.4 millimeters from 5.5. So it's really taking a bite on the pellet, and if you look down your barrel, put a flashlight to the uh, bore, and you look down the barrel at the muzzle end, you could see whether or not the pellet or the uh, bore is reflective all the way down to the choke and like I mentioned before uh, the choke part of the barrel it wasn't reflective well um, to start truly fresh with the JSB 1435 pellets as I mentioned in the previous video I wanted to go ahead and just scrub the choke I didn't scrub all the way down the barrel I just wanted to scrub about uh, five inches or so down the barrel from the muzzle end and get a good nice uh, clean bore to start over with the 14.3 pellets to give them the best opportunity instead of shooting on past uh, lead from other pellets the harder pellets like Crossman's or any other harder pellet so let me show you how I did that real quick and I'll be right back Okay, so here is my past target, as you can see here. Uh, from the last video, you can see that was the best group I got when swabbing the barrel clean for the 14.35 JSBs. And at 45 yards, 0.277 inch is very good. Uh, don't get me wrong, that's like I mentioned, that's probably one of the best factory groups I've got out of pellets. Uh, I'm going back. I did see that my gamos did a little bit better than that, but that was measuring only four of the pellets because I'd always have. Uh, a flyer so you know five shots right there uh, is pretty good less than three tenths of an inch at 45 yards but uh, so with the clean bore I wanted to um, test this gun to see how much different the pellet shoot um, as if the bore or the uh, actual choke was clean uh, scrubbed and very uh, reflective once looking down the muzzle so at 23 yards uh, if you guys haven't noticed already on the main channel 
I am notorious for taking my guns and shooting at 20 and a half meters, which is FX's standard uh, standard test for their barrels and a jig, by the way. Um, I am shooting my guns out of a bag on a bench out in the element, and I was able to come up with this group here. Five shots. Measured outside outside falls within FX's uh, five and a half to seven and a half or yeah seven and a half millimeter Tolerance and this is actually six millimeters. This is actual diameter less than a 25 caliber pellet and that's five shots Um a 22 caliber pellet barely fits through there. One pellet. So uh, that is 20 and a half meters. I didn't get that on camera, but it doesn't matter because, uh, like I said though, this is the first five shots out of the barrel with the choke scrubbed using the brass brush. So first five shots out of it were astonishing. Um, didn't have to really... Uh, you know season the barrel or anything that was it I mean that was that's by far the best I've ever seen a barrel perform so um, I've also did a five shot group uh, at 45 yards and that is on camera 45 yards which end up being about the same as this group 0.277 of an inch, but that was pretty much the same hole just with vertical spreading instead of side to side, horizontal. That is crazy. And I also wanted to say that uh, these shots here were performed with the gun under the regulator. Um, the actual gauge on the bottle was less than 1100 PSI, which is where the regulator is set. So let me show you here. I think I got a good picture of it. If not, I'll include it. So I shot. Shot the gun below the regulator, and there's only a 20 foot per second difference in the chronograph from the velocity of these pellets, which are going uh, 860, by the way, 12 inches from the end of the shroud. 12 inches in front of the shroud, 860, and uh, below the regulator, I was only getting the variance between 20 to 30 foot per second per shot, and that's what it came to be. So, Uh, you can see in the video, I'll show you guys that the um, three of those went to the same exact hole, which is nuts. So, um, a new recommendation now um, that doing this test and figuring this out is that choke barrels, you know, to get the most optimum performance. Uh, are going to be need clean depending on how fast the pellet is and how hard it is and also another recommendation is if you're going to switch pellets or try new pellets to see how accurate they are give the barrel a good cleaning so you're not shooting off the last pellets residue or lead up in the barrel in the bore itself so you're actually starting from ground zero and by far this has been probably uh you know the best results i've gotten starting from like scratch basically 
So anyways, I just wanted to share that quick info with you guys. And, uh, you know, let me know. Try it out and see what you think. Like I said, I only cleaned the choke because that's where the lead was collecting in the barrel. So everywhere else from the bore or from the chamber down to the choke was fine. Reflective with the flashlight. But the choke collects lead, so... Anyways, guys, appreciate you watching, as always, and uh, hope you got something from the video. We'll see you on the next one.